Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, I'm gonna show you a little Git trick, which is gonna help make your diffs a little bit more readable inside of your repository, uh, for particularly for noisy files. Uh, so this came up recently when I was working with Yana on Babby Grammars, which is how my text editor has syntax highlighting. So for instance, um, this, this highlighting comes from a, a grammar file and it lives in this repository. Anyway, we were working on a commit and I wanted uh, Yana to show me what had been changed. So we did get show and most of the diff seems reasonable. You know, some changes to the readme, uh, the, the repository definition. We pulled in the license from the other repository. Uh, we modified some setup tools metadata, uh, but then we had this giant diff down here, which is just the entire minified JSON contents of the grammar file, which isn't really useful to display in our diff. And in fact, if I keep <laughs> if I keep scrolling, it'll fill up many, many screenfuls of just JSON garbage, essentially stuff that's that's not super useful for us to, to view. Uh, fortunately, in Git, there is a way to mark these as binary, even if Git automatically detects them as text. Uh, for instance, it's going to de detect JSON as text, even though the contents of this file aren't really meaningful. Uh, to be diffed. And for that, we will be using git attributes, which is a special little file that you can check into your repository that allows you to configure how git treats files in your repo. And there's a whole bunch of git attributes. Some of them deal with like white space and line endings and all that other sorts of stuff. Uh, but today we're specifically going to be looking at the binary attribute, uh, which is somewhere. Uh, anyway. We don't, we don't have to look, <laughs> it's in this page somewhere. You can look up get attributes yourself, uh, but I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do this. So in this particular repo, there are a bunch of these JSON files, which are just big blobs of JSON all on one file or all on one line. So if we looked at, for instance, source.ini.json, uh, you'll see that it's just one, oops, one big long line of you know 1600 characters, probably not going to be useful to diff that or look at it reasonably. Uh, so what we can do is we can take this and do git attributes. I'll modify this file and we will set diff equals binary. So that'll allow us to do that same git show command again. And if we go down to the end now, oh, I messed it up. <laughs> Wait, it's just supposed to be binary, isn't it? Uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Not diff equals binary. Um, and so now, uh, just based on this little git attributes file, uh, which says, you know, treat every file inside of this v1, grammar v1 directory as binary. Now in our diff output, it's hidden by default. So you'll see that we have uh, binary files div null and source.crystal.json diff. And so this will kind of hide that, hide that noisy bit of diff from our output. Uh, so you might find this useful to hide other vendored or otherwise noisy files. Anyway, that's that's all I had to show for today. Hopefully this was interesting. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.